Hello everyone. Myself Dr. Shikha Sardana, practicing fertility specialist at Milan Chandigarh. Today I'm here with a step-by-step -step guide to a very important fertility treatment that is ovulation induction and timed intercourse. This includes inducing ovulation and recommending relations at the right time to coincide with that ovulation. Before proceeding to the details of this treatment, let's first understand the basics of ovulation. When an egg is released from one of the ovaries, this is known as ovulation. In the ovaries, the eggs are contained in the follicles and as the follicle grows in size, the egg inside also matures. Now what happens during the menstrual cycle? During your menses, a set of small follicles in your ovaries start growing. And out of these follicles, one follicle takes the lead and becomes dominant. With the growth of this dominant follicle, the egg inside also matures. And when the dominant follicle reaches a particular size, approximately 18 to 20 mm, it ruptures and releases the egg inside that has matured inside. Yes, this is ovulation. In your menstrual cycle, when your periods start, it is counted as day one. In women with regular menstrual cycle, the ovulation happens once a month, that is somewhere in the mid-cycle, somewhere around day 14 of the cycle. But in women with ovulation disorders, this egg formation or egg release happens infrequently. In some cases, it does not happen at all. As obvious, these disturbances in ovulation can lead to infertility. In fact, it is the commonest cause of female infertility, accounting for 25-30% to 30 of cases of female infertility. Further, if we talk about the reasons of these ovulation disorders, PCOS, that is polycystic ovarian syndrome, is the commonest cause. 90-95% to 95 cases of anovulatory women seeking treatment for fertility have PCOS. Fortunately, we have a very straightforward fertility treatment that is ovulation induction and time relations to treat such cases. It involves taking medications to stimulate regular ovulation. Let's take up the process, this treatment of ovulation induction in step-by-step -step manner. Step 1. The first step is the stimulation of the ovaries with medications. These can be either oral or injectables or a combination of both. Oral medications like lomipin citrate or letrozole, these are the first line treatment to treat such cases. These medications trick the brain to produce hormone that helps the follicle to grow and develop. This is FSH that is follicle stimulating hormone. We generally start this medication from day 2 to day 5 of your cycle and give for 5 days. In case injectable medications are required, we give FSH or HMG. Both these injectable hormones stimulate the follicles to grow. So out of these, which medications should be given to you? Well, we tailor the medications and dosages to induce ovulation that suits you as an individual. We consider the factors like your age, your fertility history, your ovarian reserve, your previous treatments, etc. And accordingly, we start the medications. Then comes the second step that is monitoring the body's response to the medications. For this, you need to understand that follicles can be seen on ultrasound, but the egg cannot be seen on ultrasound because it is a very small structure. It is a microscopic structure. So we monitor the body's response to ovulation induction by monitoring the size of the follicles using ultrasounds. These ultrasounds for follicle monitoring are sometimes called as follicular monitoring scans or ovulation scans. And these are done transvaginally or internally. And we start these ovulation monitoring ultrasounds from day 8 or day 9 of cycle. Then the third step is egg release. When the egg is ready, it has reached a particular size. We give an injection for egg release. In general, injection HCG is given for egg release, which occurs uh, 36 hours after the injection. If you ask us regarding the number of ultrasounds and additional medications required, well, this depends on your body's response. Sometimes on the first ultrasound only, we find that the follicle is ready and we give injection for egg release. But in certain cases, we find that the growth is not optimal and then we need to add further injections and do some more scans accordingly. This ovulation induction can also be used in uh, certain disorders of brain where the hormone that causes the follicles to grow 
is being produced in lower amount like hypogonadotropic hypogonadism this ovulation induction has also a role in the cases of unexplained infertility as expected this ovulation induction has no role in the cases where periods have stopped prematurely because of ovarian insufficiency that is the cases of premature ovarian insufficiency where follicles are depleted prematurely then what can you expect out of this treatment well the pregnancy rates per cycle with such kind of treatment becomes almost equal to the natural cycle that is somewhere around 15 to 20% per cycle if you are worried about the risks for the most women this is a straightforward treatment but but yes complications can occur these are especially multiple pregnancy and ohss multiple pregnancies when ovulation induction is used then number of follicles more than one follicle can mature and get released and this can lead to multiple pregnancies the chances are around 15% to 20% depending upon the dosage that you have used we can reduce the risk by adjusting the dosage and uh, critical monitoring by ultrasound but we cannot eliminate the risk next is ohss that is ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome this is a rare problem in which a woman over responds to the ovulation induction treatment given and the women can develop pain bloating nausea vomiting etc the symptoms can range from mild to moderate to severe we minimize the risk of ohss by critically monitoring your cycle by ultrasound and sometimes blood tests if we see the that there is a potential of ohss to develop then in such cases we adjust the dosage or discontinue the medicines so these are the basic steps of ovulation induction that is giving ovulation induction monitoring the growth then injection for egg release and time relations thank you for watching my video and if you found my video really helpful please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel that is milan the fertility specialist for any further information or any other query you can call us at the number shown or you can come and meet us in person at our center that is milan chandigarh thank you